Hello guys, Novin Mesh welcomes you on operation off 5x2 pilot valve. First I will show you what this symbol means which is printed on it. I will draw it so you can clearly understand. Here two condition is given. This symbol shows spring. It is for solenoid. When solenoid operates, the second block will create flow. And in second condition when solenoid is off because of this spring second block flow will activate. In first condition flow will be in this way. And in second condition flow will be in this way. This symbol show block path. This was 5x2 pilot valve, means 5 ports and 2 blocks, condition of operation. First of all open this nut and remove the solenoid coil. Now open this bow screw. Remove the plunger and plate. This body is out of shell in which plunger will move. Now remove the plunger so you can see rubber dot on it. On cover and you can see throughout hole, which will seal by plunger when it's operated. Now I will show it's working. When I turned on the power supply shell will act like a magnet, but because of distance it can't attract it. So, I will give little force to help. See, plunger stick. And when I shut the power off, magnetic field will cut out. So, compress spring will through the plunger. This very simple to understand. Now we will open one end of pneumatic switch. By opening this both screw we can remove the cover. Remove the air piston by pressing it from other end. white side portion will press the pneumatic switch plunger. I will fit it back. Now put the plunger back so I can understand how mechanically it's overrated. This is the path, from where air enters, O-ring, is given for proper sealing. And comes into this chamber. This is mechanical switch. When you press it it will push the plunger back and block the air outlet path from plunger. Now, I will put back the plunger. You can see when I am pressing the switch plunger is moving back. So when solenoid plunger is not operated air can vent out. But when it's operate, air can't vent out, so system will pressurized and push the piston, and it will push pneumatic switch plunger. Now you will well known that when you operate solenoid, it will operate piston and piston will operate pneumatic switch. So there are total three stages. Here one doubt will be in your mind, that our switch is losing air when it's not in operation. This lose of air. Yeah, I know but it is. We will check by this experiment. Listen this noise, air is venting.
Now I will operate the switch. Boys off air is stop. Why? Because plunger blocked the air path. So piston operated and pneumatic switch moves. So, actuator operated. It's very simple no. Now I will open the end cover of the switch by opening this two screw. This is the end cover. Rubber ring is used for air sealing. End cover shape will allow us to enter air in this tiny hole. This hole will lead air to plunger for operating switch. Spring in this plunger helps it to regain its position when solenoid is deactivated. Now I will remove the plunger so you can clearly view it. It has many O rings to separate the chambers for air sealing. Inside this block, you can see the slots are made for air parts. I will open one of the silencer to show you. Put back the plunger and fit the end cover. Close the screw. Now put back the cover. Tight the screw. Ops I forget to show it's working. I will remove it and show you how it's work. When the plunger is in main position air will flow from inlet to second outlet. And from first outlet air will go to silencer and vent out. In operated condition plunger will move back. From second outlet air will go to silencer and vent out. Air will flow from inlet to first outlet. Now I will close the all parts in steps which it was open. Thank you for watching video. I hope you learned something new. If you like it, hit the like button. Subscribe the channel for more updates. Knowledge is key to success. See you next time with new video.